Jess and Cameron Johnson. Today we're gonna do a tour of the shop. All right guys, so we're over here at Cameron Johnson Race Cars. They officially started their own YouTube channel. I'm helping them out. We got uh, uh, Caveman Jesse right here behind Jeez, us. Man. Look at bro, he needs a haircut <laughs> and a shave. Come so on, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. What is your job description? What do you do here at CJRC? My name's Jesse Parrott, I'm the shop foreman. Um, I do most of all the sheet metal work, uh, keep the guys running, keep them on time, make sure their job's going straight and uh, just get them all the parts that they have. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know, Cameron is not good with camera. We're gonna go ahead and just get that out of the way. He doesn't like talking, but he's getting better. He's been on my channel a lot, uh, but he's getting better with it. Jesse's gonna be doing most of the talking because you know he's just more outgoing. I don't know, Cameron gets shy camera shot all that kind of stuff but uh we're actually going to go inside their parts room real quick because y'all y'all sell a lot of parts here y'all are dealers for everybody so we're going to go inside the parts room real quick we're actually going to go through jesse's going to point out some things on stuff that they do sell here stuff that they make in-house and uh if you need anything you can actually go on their website what is the website cjracecars.com cj and you can order everything they'll get it out to you um, if and it's not on the website yet, you can call a shop. Yeah, we're currently updating it as we speak, so. Okay. It's so, in progress. and then Corky is who you would talk to yeah, here. Yeah, Corky, yeah. So, uh, what is the shop number for uh, Corky? 352-301-2087. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that by heart, so <laughs> I won't be able to tell you that. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop inside here real quick. Let's see some of the parts that they have. We're going to go ahead and take a tour around the shop, showing you everything. And then we'll possibly show you uh, some of the little bit of work that they put on the Lexus build as well to see how things are coming along. Titanium. They do a lot of titanium stuff here. Uh, probably more than anybody I do know. Uh, uh, bars, aero bar links. Wishbones. We, we duplicate a lot of stuff, so yeah. instead of uh, you Titanium trying to have to fit somebody else's stuff, we can remake So, like, chromoly, you can just kick that out the window. Just do titanium. Right. Okay. Can we do a titanium chassis? If you wanted to spend the money, we'll try, but I don't think it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come follow us in here. We got um, mostly all, all the odd and end parts that you guys would need uh, working on your chassis. We got clevises down here. We got some blacked out bolts for windows, kind of a specialty deal. That not many people have. We got uh, some brake lines over here. We keep a lot of tools like Zeus tools, you know, some of your odd and end little things that you guys always would need. Uh, let's see what's next over here. There's a lot of shit inside here. Yeah, we got. Y'all got quick connects and y'all make quick connects in titanium now yeah, too, we right? Have titanium quick connects for the actual titanium that welds to the shaft. So uh, we got your uh, steering joints which those are pretty nice, they're all black. Uh, Basically see, anything you need to know to build a car. Yeah, we got mostly all the brackets that you would need. Uh, we're currently getting more and adding more to the, to the stock. So, you know, if there's anything that you guys would possibly need, just give us a shout and let us know. We'll One thing sure. I did see was a bunch of tubing. What all size tubing do y'all do? Uh, we got all kinds of aluminum tubing. I think uh, mostly three and a half inch and down but we do have some big stuff like you can see down here in the bottom i believe that's some six inch what the hell did y'all put that on i think that was for uh hancocks some, yeah, I, think that was for, I don't know what we did that on it was, that's that's huge right there. that's yeah. like that's like dump truck shit yeah it's pretty big pretty and then y'all got a lot of titanium too where do y'all keep the titanium and stuff at? you know like brackets and like uh um we keep most of that stuff in sorted in the office because it's kind of okay kind of expensive so we got these cool little caps for the end of uh, tubes. Not many people have those for just. So y'all weld the end of the tubes on, so it's not just open. Yeah, it just looks more decorative. You can see these some a little bit better. Some pedals that are. So that's not a brake pedal. Yeah, brake pedal. And then this is y'all's uh, dual parachute kit. Dual parachute kit. So if someone was to order a dual parachute kit, what all do they get inside a kit? Let's show you right there. Be one bent frame with all the tabs welded on. Yeah, right there. Tubing for all the braces. The. Uh, and then these are the bottom. Yeah, it was your. Uh, and everything's titanium. Yep. Everything's titanium. Do y'all know how much this one of those weigh? How much the whole? It depends on how long they have cut it, but it'd be half whatever the chrome all is. Yeah, if it was similar size, it'd be half weight, but. And then what are these up here? Oh, uh, these are some weight weight boxes that would bolt on your car, different size, two by three and two by two, which you have some of those going on in your build. Y'all could have made this room a little bit bigger, dude. I'm fat. We ran, it was bigger. We, we kept adding shelves. Shelf. <laughs> I just got too many parts. I hear you. Well, is that is that part of the wishbone? Keep adding, yeah, yeah. Look how big that thing is. That thing's solid. Yeah, this is a big. Yeah. This is a titanium one. Yeah. yeah. 
That's pretty good size. Bro mod, what what do you establish my car as in? Dirt wrap? So like a five fifty deal. Wow. Pedal car. Pedal car. Alright, we got another room over here that's got all of our Zeus tabs, some specialty stuff like titanium and um, Why are you walking so slow? Because you're fat. <laughs> Speed it up. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look over here. Some of our uh, titanium clovises. We got all different sizes in here. Uh, we try and keep most of them in stock, but, you know, things happen. A lot of them get sold. Zeus fasteners. Yeah, all different size Zeus fasteners, spring-loaded ones. What's all um, this stuff over here? We got the nice black ones, the Allen heads. Uh, this is all the titanium. Um, Especially tabs that we especially have cut for us. Uh, we have these like, right here. Titanium strikers. A door striker? Yeah, a door striker. That's titanium that we have machined. Um, all kinds of little odds and ends um, for different things that we build. or. And anything that y'all don't have, you can order it in quick. Yeah, yeah, we try and we can mostly get everything in quick. There's been some problems with parts lately, but you know, for the most part, everything does pretty good. All right, so we're done with this side. Let's head on to the other side of the shop. The fabrication side? Yeah. Bro, get out of there. You don't need nothing in there. Oh, man, there's something in there stressing out. He needs to drink. I know. Motherfucker, need a Xanax. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Welding. Welding? Yeah. That's titanium? Titanium. Please run. You like welding titanium better or chromoly? Everything. Do it all? Yeah, all, everything. One man stop shop? What? One man stop shop? I'm welding everything on my There watch. you go. Dude, you've been over here for an hour and you ain't even cut the tube yet? That's the other side. Oh, okay. So you get you get stuff done over here. I try. So at what point do you know that you messed up? Well, they don't fit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so they got all the parts over here. You can see this is the Lexus behind you. We'll be running an MPK and RVW. Uh, Jesse is having to custom make uh, basically window trim, right? Is that what you call that? Yeah, like... Because of this body, it doesn't have yeah, nowhere to the mount the windows. windows. As you can see, they're recessed in so far. Yep. And obviously, we don't want the windows, so... Like this is a piece I made for right here. It's still work in progress, but a lot of it needs to be fitted and trimmed. This is like a lip I just did today. Okay. That's just a kind of a mock up. It'll have that seal on there with the window that's washed. All right. And then this will go in there. This will be Does this get cut out or is that Yeah, stay? yeah, that's gonna be all cut out. I just left it in. So it keeps everything. Yeah, to keep the structure of the body still there until we ever get Okay. They got the bumper on the rear, trunk lid fits nice, you can see. Yeah, this is basically what it would look like. Um, and then you just bolt to that? Yeah, that's a, that would be a flush mount window. Like, it'll sit perfectly flush with the body, so it's super slick. Okay. And the same thing with the deck lid. Nice. It's coming together nicely. Yeah, they got all titanium, uh, titanium dry shaft enclosure. Uh, you got the titanium steering column. As you can see, it's all bolted in. Here's the titanium quick connect. It is dirty right now because they've been working on it, trying to fit the front end and all that. I promise you, whenever the car does come out, it'll be 100%. Probably one of the best looking cars uh, around the world. But everything is coming together nicely. You can see that's Cameron Johnson's uh, anti roll bar. It's got the anti roll links. Four links are in the car. Uh, we'll actually check out my wishbone which is a titanium wishbone that he just finished up today to be able to uh set down inside the car this is one where we copied for another guy set that one in so he sent that in and yeah. made it out of titanium yeah. for a pro nitrous car what is a what is a wishbone call i mean i know there's different variables but for us to copy one like this 1400 whatever and then if you were to just build one, how does that so change? It's, it's or? about the same, about the same. Either but way. it just depends on, you know, like. Yeah, if it's something crazy that we don't have like a setup for. What was the one that I that, came that's here? That's a Vickle deal, so we that have. That deal there? Yeah, we have the setup. I came here one time and you had like a four Excellent. bar deal. Yeah, what's it's that? It's an old vanishing point car. 
Okay. So it, that, something like that's like three thousand dollars. I got you. Because it's pretty complicated. Titanium is pretty expensive though, right? Okay. Actually, it's right here. Yeah, yeah this is that yeah, one. The, but yeah, so titanium is pretty have. expensive. Yes. So like you were telling me, sometimes they do it by the inch price. So like, what's the most expensive? Like how big of a tube can? The four light bar stuff's like six dollars an inch. Six dollars an inch. Six dollars and fifty cents an inch. Ooh. The four, four stuff. Can I put chrome molly in my car? Yeah, yours are gonna have chrome molly. We don't do a lot of the big tire stuff with uh, titanium. This guy's actually getting uppers and lowers. He's gonna try them and just keep an eye on them, see how they do. But with the big I think they'll be fine. Setup. We have uppers and lowers in uh, radio cars. A few radio cars now, and they, they've been fine. Jamie's had the uppers for two years, and they're even a little bit smaller wall thickness than the stuff we use now. So. Okay. All right, so we're not gonna make this video too long. It's kind of just an introduction video to Cameron's YouTube channel. Uh, you got to introduce to Cameron. You got to introduce to Jesse. Hi, Say hi. What's up? Eddie. Say bye. Bye.